I tried 11 page builders and I found out that there are 4 different flavors. I've discovered that during my live streams that I do every Tuesday. If you want to join, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Just to get the feeling on what kind of page builders are out there. How do they look? How do they feel? And that was very fun to do. Now before I share the 4 different flavors that are there. What is a page builder to me? So a page builder is not a predefined template where you can only change the text. It is a way of creating the whole page, the whole experience. And the reason that I am making this video is because of a post by David. Here is a WordPress Facebook group called Dynamic WordPress and it's managed by David McCann. He posted a art, an article, I will leave a link in the description. In his article, he goes over that with everything happening in the WordPress space right now with Matt and WP Engine, the Gutenberg has been derailed. It has slowed down in space, which means that the state as it is right now is not the best experience, to be fair. And Gutenberg didn't pick up the speed which they intended to, I guess. And here goes over here the amount of releases that the page builders have done. For example, for Bricks, for DV and Roib. And this got me thinking, what kind of flavors are there? Could identify four different flavors. One, it's the Gutenberg enhancers. It's something just like the block error. And block error allows enhances the core blocks with their own styling. Instead of using the core styling, which is minimum at best, it enhances those to add more functionality since the animations, but also different kind of settings that are not available by default. It also makes the experience a little bit better. This looks like a Webflow based interface, which allows you to create those spacings, change the typography, all the settings. So not only underline, but also the font size, also the line height, the letter spacing, all kinds of things that you need to do. Block error, the Gutenberg enhancer, allows you to do that and do the core blocks. Now the second page builder kind of options is the Gutenberg blocks, which in this case is, for instance, green shifts, but also generate blocks. Cadence WP also is one and Spectra one. And what they all do is adding their own proprietary blocks to enhance your experience within the Gutenberg editor. They've identified that the Gutenberg editor is not the best option out there and creating their own blocks where they have more control over how it feels and how it looks and how it works. So the user experience and try to solve it in their way. Now, what it also does do, it adds a lot of blocks in there and sometimes a little bit too much. Uh, which can be overwhelming, but most of them are necessary. So that's the second kind of flavor. Then the third kind of flavor are the page builders. Those are things like Elementor, Bricks Builder, also HWP, or the newly better released Buildarius, or even Droip 2.0. These are all page builders. They have a custom interface not controlled by WordPress and try to enhance your, your page building experience in a different way. Also, the look and feel of the page builders can differ very much. But what they want to do is to control more of the user experience that you would have. Now, lastly, you have the headless page builders, which is a new type of page builders that are up and coming. And Web Studio is a great example of that one. What a headless page builder does, it disconnects your WordPress with the front end. So the thing that you see when you visit a website. And the advantage of that is that the danger of the WordPress plugins and not being updated can live somewhere different compared to having that on the same website with all the other page builders. You are disconnecting the data, for instance, your posts, but also your pages with the front end on how it looks and feels. And you need to manually connect them up to get all the data on your website. Now, this sounds like a very complicated mess, but they are trying to solve it in a very nice way. Also, the advantage is if something might happen to WordPress, then you can use something different as a CMS. For instance, here they have Strapey, Strapey, I don't know how you pronounce it and Airtable, but you could also use Google Spreadsheets. I've seen 
a very nice video example by the clutch also a headless new page builder that is using a google spreadsheet as a cms system to create a website these are the four different flavors of page builders that are available right now you have the gutenberg enhancer that enhances the default core blocks you have the gutenberg blocks that add blocks to your gutenberg editor to give you a better experience with creating websites then you have the page builder which takes full control over the interface to give you the best experience creating websites according to them and then you have the headless page builders which disconnects the wordpress part and the website part but you can integrate them together to have a more secure and faster options sometimes at least now let me know which kind of flavor do you like the most and if you want to see me struggle some of the page builders i have a nice playlist right here that you can watch next and as always keep designing